Okay, so UK-19, they bought nine infantry, three for Italy. This is going to stink, and then six up here. Um, but in reality, that's only one more than he could have built, right, if he'd put eight up here. And the good news is with Japan holding Africa for now, I got a feeling a load of these uh, 11 infantry may be coming down here. But uh, UK's income's restricted, so you can't really make a whole lot out of having that extra other than the fact that he can just move them straight, build them right next to the capital rather than having to transport them in. So um, that certainly is going to become more and more of an issue uh, as time goes on here. And I've got to be real careful with Germany that I don't overextend my infantry because, you know, when these loads of infantry start landing, i got to be able to get back to defend. Uh, I want to get income and try to stack when I can stack, but I got to watch out for that. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, we're going to keep uh, I'm playing kind of quick again. Maybe, maybe this is the trick. Maybe I need to just play quick instead of trying to overanalyze things as I tend to do. Um, but uh, we're just going to go. So uh, I, I did want to go ahead and get, since we appear to be playing a long game after all, um, I went ahead and got one more transport to make a, a full maximum shuck going here. We've got enough infantry to fill it, built tanks, and uh, getting another fighter, trying to slowly increase our air force back up again to be something that maybe eventually can match with all my trans my carriers and do something useful with them again. Uh, right now, I'm just going to stick this entire fleet out here with no transports for him to have a 50-50 shot on if he would like to. Um, not sure that he takes that shot, but maybe he does. I don't know. We're going to throw it out there and give it to him. If nothing else, hopefully it'll uh, maybe, I, I'd probably not, but possibly maybe i don't know dead zone z zone 23 from him landing i doubt it but you know whatever we're gonna go for it we're gonna see how we do so let's just go so he did add a couple fighters here so he's now got nine units here to my seven um so i got a feeling he's got advantage here so i'm gonna put at least one tank into egypt um, I am going to need some luck to win this game so we are going to go ahead and start bombing away because I don't think I got anything better for these guys to do reclaim my factory temporarily of course we're not going to hold it and oh yep don't want to forget about cleaning out that guy He's got four. We're going to come back with one, two, three, and a fighter to make four here. So he could sink my one transport if he wants, but I'm okay with him using, <laughs> get rid of, <laughs> thin off some of these air forces, some of these fighters that are all over the place. So I'm going to give him opportunities to, to kill off his, his fighters for me <laughs> wherever I can. Please use your fighters and let them die. There's too many of them on the board for me to track. Okay. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let's see what happens. I don't think I mean, we could come into West Russia, but then, you know, U.S. and Russia go next and they'll certainly clean their clocks. Nothing really worth it there. Yeah, I think that's where we're at. Big money, big money, big money, big money. No whammies. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. Yeah. And big bucks, big bucks. <laughs> that is not big bucks, guys. Come on. You know, I didn't pay attention to how many spots I moved. If I got anywhere for them to land, <laughs> I probably should have paid attention to that a little bit. So we're going to put one guy in here. We're going to bring him here. We're going to go this way, go this way. Yada, yada, yada. I don't like 
to give him a free shot. I think we're going to put one there. That gives him one, two, three. There he gives him five fighters versus what do we got back down here? An infantry, three tanks. We could throw my bomber in there. I think we will. We'll just throw the bomber in there. Now, I did have to mark fighters before carrier. It's slightly better than 50% shot for him to wipe me. So... He, may, he, he very well may take that shot, but hopefully that is with him using six fighters. Uh, this bomber, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we should be good there. We do gotta be careful with this guy, though. We'll get him in back into range of reinforcing, but I don't want one, two, three. <clears throat> if I move him here, he could do the fighter. Of course, if we do move him there, you know what? Why not? He could use his fighters, but then he has to move his fleet in. And now uh, let's do a calculation here. Let's make sure I got it dead zoned over here. You know what? I'm not going to do a calculation. We're just going to go with it. We got 18 coming in here. He's got 8, 9, 10, 14 that he would have to move over into here if he took that shot. He'd have to... Maybe he takes a shot here and here, but if he takes a shot here, that weakens what he's got attacking here on the 50-50, so we're just going to throw it in there. I mean, that'd be, a, that'd be a risk, and the carrier really isn't doing me all that much good anyway since I don't got fighters on the board, and I'm not really pumping them out real quick. Let's see, we got 12, 16. We got some good hitters in there. We got some good hitters in there, so we should feel pretty good about that. Uh, I think that's everybody. Everybody moved, except for the one guy that couldn't. I do got to watch out that he doesn't sneak this snub around somewhere or another, or a sub sneak around somewhere to where they could reach. Hey, oh, wow, hold on, bomber one, two, three, four. Okay. Got to make sure that they don't get something sneaking in here where they can have, I'm very exposed back here in the back lines. All right, we're going to put my fighter up towards the front so he can get involved quicker now. And we got eight infantry there to shuck next time. There we go. 